What's up, what's up, what's up? It's Canon Meek Music here. Today, we talking about Splice. Is it good? Is it bad? We, we gonna get into that shit. But before we get into it, of course, you know I'm asking, motherfuckers, please subscribe to my shit. Make sure you hit that bell, because I'm gonna be doing a lot of shit. I just got my MPC-1, and so I'm gonna be putting up a lot of shit about that as well. I got all kind of stuff I'm gonna be doing. I've been doing music for shit, man. Eons. A long fucking time. A very, very long fucking time. But uh, but today we're just talking about Splice because I see a lot of people like dissing Splice and I see a lot of people praising Splice and I'm going to tell you my opinion as far as Splice is concerned. So with, how can I say this? Everything has its place in the industry, right? And everyone is going to get their sounds from somewhere. It, I mean, let's just keep it 100. Unless you at the house designing every fucking sound you have from scratch. It, it, most of us aren't for most of our instruments. We're not doing them from scratch. So if you, unless you're doing everything from scratch, motherfucker, you're going to uh, need a sound source, especially if you're a sample type of producer. If you like to sample a lot, you're definitely gonna need a source to get your samples. So does it make you less of a producer because you use Splice versus going out and buying a gang of records and shit? Not in my fucking opinion, because let's keep it 100. When you put a song out and that shit is in the club, you think a girl about to be out there like, ah, ah. oh, wait a second. Is this a splice loop? <laughs> like, get the fuck out of here. Ain't nobody doing that shit. Ain't no dude gonna be standing on the side like, I ain't looking at that girl shake her ass. This motherfucker got this shit from Splice. I ain't fucking listening to this shit. Like, get the fuck out of here. Motherfuckers don't care about that shit. So stop producing for producers. The only people talking shit about using Splice is other producers. They not buying your records anyway. <laughs> so who gives a fuck about their opinion? And let's also keep it 100. Let's say we all went and bought, you know, a Yamaha keyboard. It don't matter which one. Let's just say we all went and got a fucking motif or some shit like that. Don't we all still got the same sounds at that point? <laughs> like... So what's the difference between having those sounds and then having the sounds from Splice? So if you're a dope producer, you'll flip the sounds that you get. So I don't suggest just always taking the sample and just leaving the sample at what it is or a loop from Splice and just keep it at that and then start adding shit on top of it. I mean, you can do that sometimes, don't get me wrong, like sometimes that does have its place, but if you have the ability to chop that shit up, change the pitch, you know, do some shit, break that motherfucker, then it's like, yeah, we all got it, but we all use it differently. It's like, we all can use piano, motherfucker. Like, ain't nobody tripping over that. Like, why are you using piano? Everybody got a piano. <laughs> like, why are you acting? Like, I think that shit is so stupid to try to live up to this standard of being so fucking original when at the end of the day, there's only so many chord progressions, there's only so many patterns, motherfucker. So, I mean, let's keep it 100. So I just think, like, make your music for you and for the people who like your style of music. And I guarantee you'll be good. Don't don't be making music for other producers. Like back in the day, I would sit there and I would listen to uh, tracks and I'd be like, yeah, I can tell they're using a, a JV, uh, the Roland JV 1080. I can hear that. Oh yeah, and he has an expansion card. The, yep, the Asian expansion card. And I, I can hear these sounds and that's fine because I'm a producer. So I'm supposed to be able to do that. Just like a graphic designer will look at a poster and rip that shit in half. Or a makeup artist will look at a girl's makeup and rip that shit in half. But for me, I'm like, man, she look cool to me, shit. So it's the same thing when it comes to music. So the people that you're actually trying to sell your music to and that you want to support your music and listen to you, they don't give a fuck where you got your sound from. As long as the sound is some, something that sounds good to them, you're good to go. Uh, I also hear a lot of people diss it because they're like, oh, well, why don't you just learn to play your own instruments? Bitch, I don't know how to play a fucking violin, but uh, you think I'm not going to use a violin on my keyboard because the sound on the keyboard, all those are samples. So at the end of the day, everything you have from an electronic is a sample from somewhere, unless you're just, like I say, designing all of your shit from scratch. So don't get caught up in that bullshit of listening to other people. Now, I will give you my tip when it comes to Splice. Don't go and do like the $30 a month trying to get like a thousand sounds a month. You ain't even got that much talent to fucking use a thousand fucking sounds. Like, trust me, I tried to do it. And I'm like, what the fuck? Now I'm sitting on top of like 8,000 sounds. I was tripping. Don't do that shit. Start with the little package. It'll give you like 100 sounds or something like that. And build from there. Because keeping it 100, you usually only go between about three to four different drum kits and you know three to four different bass and blah 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 you have a certain you know your go-to sounds that you use to do certain tracks especially if you only do one style of music if you only do trap or you only do rock or you only do pop you have a certain you know uh, database that you kind of stay in 
Now, if you have a broad amount of, you know, uh, type of genres that you do, then yeah, you might be going out, you know, doing more sounds. But at the end of the day, you don't need a thousand fucking sounds a month. Like, that's just fucking ridiculous. So just start something small and then build your way up. But definitely splice is something that's dope. I use that shit. I'll take just one little speck from something that I hear and make a full instrument out of it. Uh, a lot of times it also just gives you inspiration. Sometimes I'll just be sitting there sifting through loops just to get inspiration. Don't even use anything. Just... Oh, yeah, I like that fucking vibe. Let me do my version of that. And then I'll do something from that standpoint of view. So uh, I'm going to get into doing more videos, actually kind of breaking Splice down. I ain't, you know, endorsed by them or nothing. I'm just hollering at you because I was wondering about the shit. So after I've used it for about a year, roughly, if not more, I'm like, this shit is pretty dope. So uh, anyway, that's all for this video. Make sure y'all motherfuckers subscribe to my shit. Make sure y'all hit the like button. Y'all make sure y'all love each other and keep the love going. Be peaceful to each other and keep the peace going. And y'all keep them beats motherfucking rocking. I'm out this bitch. Can I make music? Peace. <laughs> you roll another one. I want to hit the sequel. We in the jungle smoking legal. You roll another one. I want to hit the sequel. We in the jungle smoking legal.